let's move down. Okay, so we've got some England slingers. Wow, you're really far. It's quite a bit of a distance you've moved there. I don't know what he's doing, though. Is, this, is he just chilling there, waiting? Oh. Wow. That's a bit... Fucking hell, claw of the dirt? What are you trying to say? So she doesn't like me very well, um, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> Apparently I've done something to uh, to upset this uh, the Koreans. I guess I think it's based on religion. Um, not religion, on science. So she's neutral to me. Uh, let's have a look at opinion. Nothing to report last two turns. Oh yeah, ignore science. I'm not ignoring science. That's a bit of a bit of a stretch. I think it's because they've leaped probably in terms of how much science they've got right now. I haven't found two other sibs yet. Now there could be some more above Congo. Uh which wouldn't surprise there is actually blue here, so that might be Congo. Uh, above Congo. So there is actually another one just north of us, which is fine. Can't really do it against you just yet. I'm going to wait to just kind of deal with this galley at the moment. Uh, kind of bring these units around. I'm going to bring you down around south, I think. Oh, there's a new religion that's come up. Oh, wow. So she... Oh, Incas. Why? I want religion. Oh, that's it. I can't. All the religions have been founded. So I can't get a great person now, so I can't get religion. So that rules out, instantaneously, being able to go for religion. Um, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Um, it's just one less thing to focus on. So we've got Sikhism and Taoism. Um, so it just means we can just switch our progress into maybe going for science instead. So we've got a great admiral. Uh, combat strength. Ooh, hello. Instantly creates a new quadrium unit, produces towards units. Ooh, nice. Kind of linking you on there. So I can just get the bonus of just... In Yeah, so I can actually just get the new quadrinia, but I, I I can leave that for now and just move it up. I do get the extra, is it production, I think, passively. Yeah. So it, it's useful to keep on for a little while, I think. Okay, so we're going to have to wait. Oh, no, I could go for a cat, I think. That might be good. Do a little bit of trade. Has he got a... Sometimes it's nice to look at your city-states and see what you've got in terms of, like... Um... Where is it here? There we go. Because some of them have missions for you. So that's a Eureka. Train. Men at Arms. Uh, does a cat have any? He doesn't have anything at the moment. Uh, we could trade with Zanzibar. but I guess we just don't want to go across the water just yet. But I might just trade with a cat. With my... Uh, with him. And just try and get some gold in. A lot of them will go through the water right now, which I can't really do. So we'll just trade with a cat. Get that kind of trade route going up there. Uh, we are seeing you there, so let's move a little bit off this way. Hopefully they'll just battle it out and leave me alone. Our scouts are actually beginning to link up now. <laughs> which is fine. Um, okay, so... I think the next point of call is science and... Going on that front, it's just a bit of shame that I can't really buy any more tiles this way. I think we're going to have to just go up... Um, and do it that way. Um, I might actually get rid of the science district then and replace it. Because it, it's a bit of a weird one when you've got situations where the, there's no point having religion if you're not going to be able to use it. But deleting a religious point is a bit awkward. Because um, I don't know if you can delete districts or not. You should be able to, I think. Uh, used to be able to anyway. I think that was the idea. You could like overwrite on districts. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, so you get your multiple queues here, so you can kind of mess around with your city you've got, which is kind of nice. Kind of can buy things. Um, We'll get a harbour built. Why not? I think we're going to be a navy boy. I think that's probably the better option here. We can no more have exact okay, so we've got theology, which kind of seems a bit pointless. So we can kind of switch some of these out now. Um, so we've got the settler thing that we don't really need. Um... I mean, I really should have gone for the... If I had the great um, person um, for 
That would have been nice. But we're going to go to switch you out. Uh, Governor provides too light. I think we can keep that one there. Four in each turn. Yeah. Influence points. That's fine. Um, settlers, I think we can switch off now. Um, so maybe gold from trade routes might be good. Well, reduced cost of tiles. Ooh, that's a good one. We do have quite a lot of money saved up. So we can actually buy quite a lot of tiles. There's a campus bonus as well, which is nice. Um, oh, that one. Yes, we'll get that one out. And we'll also go for... Uh, the tiles, so we'll get them. Obviously, the production is a good one to have early on, but I think for now we'll, we'll switch out. That it means I can buy a couple of tiles, and it's not going to cost me as much. So when I do this here, I can buy this for seventy-two and then one hundred and twelve, and then when I get that tile and that tile, and it gives me the science boost. It spends a lot of money doing it, but it's a nice thing to have, um, and I can get that. So I can go for a builder next. Actually, you know what? Thank you. <laughs> Buy the builder. Why not? Okay, so let's move out the quadrium. He's moving down that way. Um, I could have actually bought the copper down there as well this turn. And maybe send him down to get that. But I'll wait a couple of turns for that for now. Okay, he's there. Let's do the damage on him. I do think there's actually a encampment down here somewhere. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, Peslav. I want to keep the ones near me under my Sirizane if possible. But I'm going to go for the sciencey dude, so I might want to get Hashan if I can. Yeah, there we go. So now it gives me the ability to be able to deal with these guys. Um, okay, so the temple's not much of an issue. I'm just going to go for the... Oh, I can't do the harbour. Oh, it's occupied by an enemy, so I've got to wait. That's annoying. Is he... Hmm. Let's get Ancient Walls. Let's get that up. Uh, okay, so we've got two options. We can go for Defensive Tactics, which gives us Envoy title, or we can go for Envoys in general. But I'm going to go for the Defensive Tactics for now. Get that moved up. Hey! Greece! Behalf of democracy! Pericles! Of Athens! Honour to meet you! So we've got the next one, which is good. So they're just above here, which I thought they would have been. And that's because these guys from Ashana have actually scouted out, which is nice. And that's the cool thing I like about them. They actually move around quite a lot with their units. So they do scouting for you. Uh, which I think is quite a, a good one. Okay, so they want a one-time deal to give us five gold for 30 turns and open borders, which I'll, I'll give them the, the, the horses. I'm not really using them at the moment, and I've got 20 still left. And there's the final one. Great King Shi. Son of the Heaven. I'm honored to beat you. Okay, so that's it. We've met all the sibs now. Yeah, so we've got plus five era score. I feel like we've kind of racked up a lot of era score um, <laughs> from that, but that's fine. Okay, there's a camp. Oh, there's a. Oh. Sorry, Scout. So we know where everyone is, which is good. So we've got the Athens over here. You've got the Chinese up top down here. Congo here. And then these guys. It's like we're all kind of clustered in a weird way. So you've got the Korea uh, up next to the Ottomans. And then you've got the English over here next to the Incas. I'm kind of like near Congo, but far enough away. So I'm not like sandwiched up against them. Which is kind of nice, I think. Um, not to be too close. Okay, so we've got our builder. Uh, we want him to go towards building... The, we'll get the ironworks first. And then we'll go get the stone next. Um, he's coming back down this way, so that's fine. Okay, who's moving here? So, oh, okay, yeah. Got my, just leave him sat there for now. Great library is going to be completed in seven turns. Just hope that no one else is trying to go for it. Yep. There's him gone. So the class gear ends in ten turns, which still seems quite a long time, to be honest. Return 111 in. But lucky enough, I've met everyone I need to, which is good. Um, so if I want to purchase that tile, actually. Um, let's have a look. How much would it cost me? 112. 
We'll do it. The copper's a good bonus resource to have uh, for production purposes. Okay. Sinking you in the ocean. That's fine by me. Okay. Hmm. Apparently there's a goody hook here? Where? Oh, her tatsu. Wow, look how fast south you are. Jeez. Okay. That's kind of surprising. Okay, so we get the iron bonus now, which would be good. So that'll start ticking up over a couple of turns. Street resource. Okay, one more trade route as well. So it might be worth just getting that capacity up. Get rid of a lot of these as well. Yes, so we're getting two per turn. Oh, galley. So we'll just move out. Not there. Got quite a few settlements up there, haven't they? In the Korea. Right, so where's the next lot of barbarians, do you think? Um, kind of cleared a lot of them out right now. So I feel like I could just bring my fleet back and just chill with them. Unless I find some barbarians hiding away somewhere. But I feel like a lot of the city-states have cleared many out. Um, so I don't really have to do anything. Uh, I want to go back to get the stone as well. Yeah, so the next one I think I want to do next is get the science and go there. Uh, because I get the bonus from where it is, I think. Once the walls are built. The purpose of education. Hey, education. Plus, I also get the uh, the extra education purposes. Okay, so we'll build it. Leave a fleet nearby, just to kind of like chill, I guess, for the time being. You can keep kind of like scouting around a little bit. I just don't think there's a barbarian camps or out like that nearby. Uh, skip your turn for now, and you can skip yours. Okay, so we've done that one. I think I'm going to go for the military in terms of shipbuilding. So I'm going to go try and get for buttresses and work my way to getting cartography. I was hoping I could get that one boosted, but I need to build a wonder, which I might actually get soon. In four turns. So actually, my might work out quite well. Uh, you can sleep as well. Oh, a volcano erupted. Okay, so campus. Um, definitely need, so we'll build it there. I'm going to go full science now. It's full steam ahead. Oh, uh, that's... that's... oh. Uh, run away, scout! <laughs> Do you want to be anywhere near them? I feel like there's like a lot of uh, enemies up top that we could do without, if possible. Uh, it'd be kind of nice. So engineering got boosted, which is nice. Get the copper, which gives us more production, which gives us less time to build towards that. Nice. Uh, let's just kind of scout around. I think we're all right for the time being on, on units in terms of just doing stuff. Okay, campus. Oh. I thought we'd have actually got a better campus read from that, but apparently not. Um, I'm just trying to think. An encampment would be great there, actually, for defensive purposes. I mean, I wish I could get rid of this dis district, but I don't think you can destroy them once they're built. Um, I know I said I've been pondering this beforehand, but I think once you've got them in, that's it. Um, so you kind of like stock with what you've got. I wish you could kind of rather place them, but I don't know if you can kind of like go in and remove districts or something. Um, where have we got districts bunders? Yeah, there's no option really to uh, break them down. And eventually I'm going to have to deal with religion anyway when it comes in. I just don't want one religion getting too strong. Uh, but yep, campus. So we'll, we'll put it over here in the desert out of the way next to a cad. Eventually we'll be able to actually influence them, which would be good. And they're a military civ as well, so they'll help out quite a lot when it comes to uh, if I need the help. Um, tempted to actually build a fishery, maybe nearby. Um, although we are getting quite a lot of... Keep that open, I think, that one. Yeah, spring you back. There's no point you being all the way out there now. Um... You can come there for next turn, get the extra stone. Oh wow, you want the iron. So one time deal for eight iron, and she gives me a load of this food. Uh, yeah, go on then. I don't mind giving people iron or resources if it's not going to impact on me, uh, but there's always that kind of option you wonder if uh, something's going to go off. So, okay. Tatsu, where are you? Let's have a look at all these city states. Where are they all? So we could get Nazca on our side. We've got Ansha, 
There's Yerevan up there. I think I just want to keep the ones nearer in my under my control, um, if possible. So let's move you first. I think oh, more units. Uh, where's the envoys here? Envoys. Yeah. Um, Cardiff is all the way around there, but there's no point really getting them. Uh, I could get extra faith, but I, again, Hitatsu, I don't know where that is. Oh, they're down there, aren't they? Yeah, they're the new one. So yeah, we'll get Hitatsu, because we get the science bonus from libraries then. And they are kind of close to us, so I don't think anyone else is going to want to influence them. Okay, so we get the production bonus. Oh, Incas, they're, okay, they're, uh, <laughs> England Incas are going at war with another, which is kind of surprising. Um, so rumor has it the... This lighthouse hey. is the sign assure of all eyes. Look at that lovely house. Okay, so we get the error score. We also get the boost for civil. Uh, which is kind of nice, and we also get the uh, bonus towards buttresses because we built the uh, a late uh, classical later wonder, which is good. Um, and then, do I just get the production bonus there, or do I just move into the city? Yeah, we'll go back to city for now. And you can just chill out over here. Um, what we got here? So I can go straight for universities and go for that science both, if possible. Um, you can just go back here for now. Uh, what we got then? So we got Pericles has declared war on China, and Incas have declared war on. So there's a bit of war going on here between these ones, but I think it's because how close they all are to one another. I think Congo is one where I'd love to take them on, but they're not really a religious problem. Although we do have a CAD right here on the doorstep, which would help quite a lot. But we also do need uh, to have a justification to do it. Um, okay, so I can't move with them. Yeah, keep them happy for now. Uh, yeah, go on then, Ottomans. Take my um, oh yeah, delegations. Hanging gardens have been completed. Okay. Oh, we lost Sarazane of a show. Oh, you little buggers! Who took them? Who are they Sirizane of now? None. Oh, okay, so we've got the one act up on them, so we've lost it. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll get them back, don't worry. I can't even move at the moment. <laughs> These units. Uh, you can just go to sleep here while we wait round. Him that oh. all invincibility Get inside. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Hey, new governor. Okay, so hmm, I feel like quite bad now for getting them. Um, Zoning so will be good. Do I get an educator and get the library done? I think I might appoint them and get them moved in somewhere. So, a library. What would get me the most science, do you think? Let me have a look what generates most science in my... So... We're getting 22 from Tio Hankanup. So that's these. So it'd be better by supporting a science building in there and getting the governor for sitting in that settlement. So we'll, we'll do that one. Uh, where's my governor? Governor, governor, governor. Ugh. Yep, so we'll, we'll, we'll um, assign you and you can sit in the capital. Thank you very much. You would actually give me extra science for libraries at some point when I get there. Uh, we've now completed that one, so now we can kind of go towards either getting the envoy, a farm, or we can do alliances. Ooh. I actually got boosted for both of these as well. Going to go for naval, I think. Battle encampments. Oh, does that improve yield? Oh, yeah. Envoy. Mercenaries. Medieval. Monarchy might be a good one to have, but again... Hmm. Exploration, Merchant Republic. Which is the more military focused one, I think? There's Reformed Church, which is I like middle of the ground. I feel like that's too military. 
That's one military. So I feel like this is the more military orientated one, but then so is theocracy, weirdly enough. Um, yeah, because they have the wild cards there. Um, but to get that, I need to go down and get theology, and I need to get civil service. Feudalism. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to go for feudalism. Get the extra farms. Sleep on that for now. Oh, uh, yeah, they won't be happy about that. So each AI has their own kind of like grievances that they can have against you. So if you kind of like do stuff. So if you kind of like take over their city states, they won't like it. Oh, ouch. Sleep for now. Um, so if you look through like some of the AIs, like Pericles, I think one of his temperaments is that. Um, Likes civilizations that aren't competing in the same city states, and then dislikes ones that are competing. So if you don't go for the same ones, they'll be fine with it. But as soon as you do, they, they won't be happy with you. And then that requires access open. So I think you need open borders for that one. And you can kind of look through quite a lot of them, to be honest. Um, they have uh, one set on the mountain. So anyone who settles near you dislikes them. Uh, the Ottomans are law giving, so keep happens oppressed. Okay. Uh, Congo is pretty much of the religion, so if you don't have a religion, they won't like you for it. Oh, so well, we will be fine actually because we haven't found a religion. Uh, she is the uh, Angevin Empire, builds a popular city, likes civilization who nearby cities have a high population, dislikes civilization at small cities, so. Uh, likes civilization not competing for wonders and building wonders, so that's like China's strong thing, and they are. Tries to build science and likes those that also on science and dislikes those with load. So you can you can kind of go down for stuff like all this kind of stuff. But you need grievances first. So like with um, Congo, I could maybe do a grievance to them. Yeah, so you can kind of like do surprise wars and stuff, and you can like demand things off them. And go, I want this, give me. Um, which is kind of interesting when you think about it. But we'll just have to keep that there. Um, I think I maybe do want to go for Congo, but they do have a good military block right there. Medieval, woo, golden era. Okay, what can we get? So we got a golden era. The um, Inca got a golden era. They got a heroic. So I think they've got two golden eras in a row. And they got all um is it normal age? Yeah. Okay, so we can go for three inquiry, which gives us you can provide terms of bonus, which is good for commercial hubs and harbors. We can go for pen pusher, we can go for momentum, or we can go for the excess of Amgen, which is mercenary pull, which we don't really need. Don't really need. Oh, Oh, so this is the idea of expansion, isn't it? This is more pushing, and this one's sciencey. So we'll, we'll go for this one. Get the science one. So we've got a nice little goldy button. Oh, sorry for being ahead of you. Uh, open borders. Yeah, we'll, we'll accept that for now. Because it means it gives me an idea. Oh, hello. Greece has got a lot of his... Okay, World Congress is now in session. Each world leader must vote for the proposal. Now, this is the first time I've seen this, so I'm going to have to take my time trying to understand what is going off. Um, you must decide the best how to best exploit the opportunities available in the world. So, we've only got two. We've got military advisory, um, units of the chosen promotion gain combat strength, or units of the chosen promotion lose combat strength. Oh. Oh, so these are the proposal you kind of go in on. So you, the ones the military want to begin with one is this one. So if you vote for this one, you want this to be the one that comes into effect. And then you choose a unit, do you? And the mess with competition, you uh, are producing unit we use a chosen type of currency as percent of the cost until the next World Congress. Producing the unit. Yeah, scale production. I want that one. Um, I 
ranged melee. Go for that one. Again, this is where you can kind of like look for stuff and go, right, I want this to cost more. So you can kind of like go. And then you can kind of like go, right, I want you to have. So anything that's with like faith, I want to cost more. But you can only pick one or the other. You can't have both. Um, so I want this to have my 50% cost. So I want to try and see if I can get a lot of military production going. That would be fucking hilarious. But you can have one of each. So you can go for military advisor and this one. You can only select one of the two. Okay. So I'm going to submit and we'll see what happens. So what comes for reconvened once the remaining. So, <laughs> wow, okay. Um, so units have chosen for us class game one. So for melee. So that passed. So A. So A passed. So who actually voted for A? Oh, we, A there, yeah. A again there. So that gives us the 8 that we need for A. Um, so everyone voted, voted for it, but they wanted different ones, but Melee got it. I think I chose range, didn't I? Yeah. It's a bit of a shame. And then B. <laughs> this is where the fun one's going to come in. 50% um, of the cost, so it's production. So everyone's kind of gone for production, I think. <laughs> okay, so we're now going to have um, a quite an interesting one here. So now military units are 50% cheaper to produce. So that means you can produce units a lot quicker. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, th I think I need to start building ships before long. But we're just going to get science building up, I think. Okay, so because we won, we got one to victory, which is fine. Did someone get two? So yeah, this is where the diplomacy comes in. So some people got two, some people got one. So every time you win your selected votes, um, you actually win more. Um, which is fine, I think, in, in a lot of situations. Oh, there's a barbarian camp right there. Alright, let's get you out. So we're going to try and take this out now, uh, camp-wise. Oh, yeah, you're, you're actually tied on, aren't you? So let's just move you off. No, go back. <laughs> So he's got his religious units here. So I'm going to tell him to back off if he comes somewhere near me with that. Oh, I summoned a special session. Okay, emergency. Recent events demand the attention of the World Congress. Will your accumulated department favour to vote in, on discussions that are important to you and your people? So, uh, Sonoke was ravaged by a natural disaster. We should help them. Um, So, gain score by lifting... Oh, yes, yeah, so they're just trying to save. Should we help them? And I think, no. I don't want to help them, if I can help it. Ah, that's a shame. So, it, it passed, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so, it means that that's... I guess we can... So, we can actually do that now. Um, I'm going to send you... Can you make a make a demand? So let's have a look here. So usually what you can do is you can send, tell them to back off. So I'm going to denounce him because he's trying to send his stuff my way. So I'm basically just telling him, I don't like the idea you're sending religion my way, so I'm going to make that demand. And I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, it's not going to budge at the moment. So now I'm going to try and see if I can build up a force. Because again, I don't want these religions kind of spreading as much as I can do. 